Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine family from downtown Santa Teresa. And this video is all about Santa Teresa, but also about rainy season in Costa Rica in Santa Teresa. And I just want to show you some street impressions if you think about coming here. Now, who am I to make these videos? If you've never met me before, I moved to this place, well, a little bit outside of this place four years ago. And uh, thanks to my online business, I'm able to provide my family and myself a great, beautiful income purely by working from my laptop. And um, here's a little bit about myself. And then I will touch on some disadvantages about Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, especially in rainy season. So you get a realistic impression of where you're traveling towards because people ask me that. So this is not a video to complain or I don't like complaining, but uh, yeah, you deserve to see the truth. So you can make an informed decision to come here, yes or no. But first of all, a little bit about myself. So you know, if I'm new to you, uh, who is talking to you, <laughs> here you go. position I am where am I okay I am sitting on my quad in front of a place called the bakery right this is in when you enter Santa Teresa from the most common road this is the crusade of Santa Teresa Playa Carmen just remember this how do you recognize it well the Banco Nacional is right behind me Somewhere you cannot see it, but on the, in this line there's the Banco Nacional, and across the street of the Banco Nacional, more or less, but a little bit diagonal, is a place called the Bakery. What's so special about the Bakery? Well, it has a terrace. You can sit outside, which is not preferred, preferably in dry season because of all the dust. Look at the roads; it's sandy dirt roads, and in rainy season, it's muddy. So look and everything gets muddy, okay? But the bakery is an amazing place to eat the most amazing lunch, breakfast, and cakes, and all the, the sweet stuff that you're dreaming about. And I want you to pay attention to all the traffic that's passing you. Now, what time of the day is this? So, oh yeah, I was talking about how do you recognize this place? Well, just enter Santa Teresa, um, the crusade El Carmen that stands for Playa Carmen Playa Carmen is one of the yeah the most how do you say that most people know Playa Carmen it's a good surf spot for a little bit more advanced surfers there's a nice restaurant called El Carmen and uh, yeah the bakery is close by the bank is close by it's like a central place in Santa Teresa and there are some supermarkets here so enough to explore now I spoke to you about the disadvantages of Santa Teresa, right? Because, come on, Costa Rica, if you're dreaming about coming to Costa Rica, whether that's to travel here or to move here, Santa Teresa may seem like a dream place according to the beautiful beaches. If you love surfing and yoga, I agree, Santa Teresa has a lot to offer. But in rainy season, okay, in rainy season in Costa Rica, it's really wet. You must know that 
when the rain drops from the sky in rainy season it's not just a little bit of rain it's like so much rain that that winking your eye doesn't help you to see um, when you're driving right uh, I, i'm driving on the quad hi <laughs> i'm driving on the quad more or less always that's my favorite and with my helmet on when when it starts to rain rainy season rain it's hard to just see the road so it's that hard rain right so um those roads that you see behind me where all the traffic is transporting itself it's just fixed this is um, a very good um uh, the road is really good right now so you must know that uh, the potholes you see are tiny you see you see all the traffic that's driving okay here's a motorbike right we saw some buses have we seen a truck yet let me know i haven't seen construction uh, trucks yet but big houses a lot of houses are built because santa Teresa is super popular so what happened also um, construction traffic is taking these roads tourists are walking here with their families with their small children uh, this is a definitely a local car there's rental cars here i'm sitting on the quad there's a, a golf cart slash quad behind me it's it's a weird chaotic town atmosphere with very bad infrastructure that means in rainy season you get flushed away if you're unlucky. Potholes are so deep because there's and there's water standing in it and you cannot see how deep they are, right? So now the, the road was fixed a couple of days ago. What means that they put another layer of sand and, and dirt over it and the bajo just flattens it. But after a couple of, now it's dry, so I'm able to make this video. But after a couple of heavy rains, the potholes are back because with every vehicle uh, driving through holes, the sand is taking out and just, you know, get all the holes will be back in a couple of days. I already see it. You see behind me a family, kiddos. Now there's, this is funny. I don't know if you see it. There's chaos coming because a bus is coming. Cars are driving there. Oh, there are some, I'm, I'm just gonna keep filming it this way. So you see the street view of Santa Teresa from in front of the bakery, right? You see, the green bus is the is the local bus. Trans well, this is uh, I don't know what that is. It's not the biggest truck that drives here. There are those monster trucks that I always think do these monster trucks fit on these roads. They drive here as well. Do you see how much traffic is driving here? There's another construction type of truck. This goes numb stop and this hour of the day is not the busiest hour of the day the busiest hour of the day is in the morning around between seven and eight around lunch and around six five six because all the, the workers are done working and everyone is driving home and there's just one road in santa teresa so a rainy season in santa teresa because of the infrastructure is so bad as you can see where does the rain go? Well, this is just a very small example, but there's places when it's raining really hard, it's like rivers. There is not a, a solid solution for the rain. So the rains create a broken, let me see what happens here, broken, broken roads, right? So that's a problem. You see how that car looks like? You see the mud? That's kind of normal in rainy season. So everything gets muddy, including yourself. So if you love to stay clean and have nice colored nails, which I have, so I don't look dirty all the time because I am walking in the mud every day, but I don't mind. So firstly, I do not live in the city, in the town of Santa Teresa. I live a little bit outside Santa Teresa on the countryside where I have large property or large I don't know what you call large it's five and a half acres and uh, I have space I don't have neighbors nearby and that's awesome but uh, yeah this is my my daily reality because I work out in Santa Teresa myself at real training and I Muay Thai kickboxing it's on downtown Santa Teresa so I am on this road every day is it not for myself then it's for my son who is kickboxing right now so 
I think um, I have the right to just point out the disadvantages of coming to Santa Teresa on rainy season. You're gonna be dirty all the time. Don't bring wet, wet uh, white shoes. Don't bring white socks because it's all gonna be the, the color of this car. <laughs> and this is really realistic. This is just what it is. And if you are okay with that and you are aware of it, it's not that bad. But I can imagine if you looked into Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, and you saw all beautiful dry season videos of travelers with the perfect pictures and videos, they're not telling the full truth or they have no clue how it is in rainy season. Again, see those holes here. This is a good state of the road. <laughs> this is nothing compared how it is in a couple of days after some more rains. However, the bakery is the whole year around open. I love this place. It has a very good internet connection. I work here once in a while if I don't want to work from my home. As you know, I work from my laptop. And you see a lot of people working online as well here and they have amazing things to snack and to eat. They have dinner, they open from eight in the morning, no, 7.30 in the morning until I think 10 in the evening. And, um, Ah, gracias! <laughs> I think it was a kind thing that he said. He said something with beauty, so now I'm blushing. Anyways, you know why I oft do not make these type of videos so often? Actually, never. Because people will be on my video and I'm never sure how people respond. Here, construction, construction. This is small construction traffic, guys. This is not the monster truck. Here, more workers, it's here. This is nothing compared to how crowded it can be. I don't want to make people feel in, how do you say that, uh, that I uh, force them to be in my video. That's why I don't make so many videos like this to show you stuff. But I'm happy, I hope that I shared a good um, street view of Santa Teresa. Perhaps you can see it a little bit better like this. It's chaotic, it's messy, it's muddy. It's crowded. Are you sure you want to be here in rainy season in Costa Rica? There are so many other places to explore. But if you come here, I assure you, you know, you must know there is a reason why I am here, right? There is a reason why I fell in love with this area. Okay, I started living in Santa Teresa, but I decided to move out for a reason, you know, because we had the opportunity to buy property. But there is something special here. So you must know that everyone who lives here or lives close to Santa Teresa feels that vibe. There is a special vibe here and our beaches are so beautiful. And so there's no big buildings like in Hako uh, on or close to the beach here. It's still very rural and very, how it used to be hundreds of years ago. That's what I love about this place. But the fact is there is, you're not the only person who's coming to Santa Teresa in or out of rainy season and look just come here to visit and see it for yourself whether you like it or you hate it sometimes i make the comparison like i don't know who has been to india like i did i've been like six months in india before i started my family and they say about india you love it or you hate it or you do both and you cannot choose what it is but it keeps attracting you every time well i have that feeling with santa Teresa. i hate it and i love it and so there's something pulling me here that keeps me here and it's hard to express that and who recognize my words just reply below uh, i'm gonna wrap up this video by asking you did you learn something new did you did you i don't know made a decision whether to come yes or no to santa Teresa? you know there's a lot of fun things too but that was not what my video was about it was the disadvantages so bad roads holes uh oh I forgot to mention taxis are super expensive now you understand why because the maintenance of the cars is super expensive uh, there's always a lot of work to do on cars and quads and motos everything breaks down here now you understand why people are driving these quads including me it's no luxury it's not for fun it's because these vehicles are built for these roads so there are some taxis here taxis are hugely expensive but now you know why but i already covered that and um, yeah, it's time to wrap up my video and it's time to pick up my son. See you on my next video. And thanks for, subscription, for your subscription. If you just subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate you. And see you on my next video. Bye for now.